when things are happening slowly and secretly and you don't really notice it at first, the, the whole church can start to drift into error, which can affect, again, people getting the true message of salvation. Right. These people are so uh, engrossed into these these progressive ideologies, theologies that they cannot see anything else. Anything else is just completely gone for them. So let me ask you uh, a, a question. Isn't divisive to call out false teaching like we're doing now? Is is that something that is going to destroy the so-called unity of the church, especially here in the United States? And this is something that a lot of people will say that if you if you call out a false teaching or a false doctrine or even call somebody a false teacher, which, by the way, I do very I, I, I do very slow. I'm very slow to do that. Um, I give personally just like I would want people to give me a really long rope before they went that far. Um, I'm very slow to call people actual false teachers. I think there can be people who are confused. Maybe they learn some wrong things. They're teaching some wrong things. But when, I, when I'm talking about a false teacher, I'm talking about somebody that is getting the actual gospel wrong. They're actually teaching something that will hinder you from salvation. That That's how I view it. I might disagree with somebody on a hundred things, but if they're teaching you how to be saved and they're giving you the truth about that. I'm probably not going to call them a false teacher. But so I have had this question come up a lot. Like, isn't it isn't it so divisive to do that? Uh, but I think a couple of things I want to say about this. So if we look at Second Peter, when he talks about false prophets, he's saying uh, false prophets also arose among the people, uh, just as there will be false teachers among you. So he's pro he's predicting that like we can be sure there's going to be false teachers among us and he says who who secretly bring in destructive heresies even denying the master who bought them mm. uh bring on themselves swift destruction so there's that word secretly they come in secretly and in jude it's their similar language certain people have crept in unnoticed so they long ago were designated for this condemnation ungodly people who pervert the grace of our god into sensu sensuality again the deny the master and lord jesus christ uh and so so i think that's those are interesting words they crept in unknown uh secretly so there's this sort of um almost uh, infiltration that we don't notice happening while it's happening. And I think that that is something that makes it really important to call it out because when things are happening slowly and secretly and you don't really notice it at first, the, the whole church can start to drift into error, which can affect, again, people getting the true message of salvation, the gospel. So when we talk about it being divisive, it's not divisive to call out a false teacher. It's actually divisive to creep in unnoticed and bring false teaching. And I think an important uh, point here is that the Apostle Paul taught the Christians in Ephesus this. He said, make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. So we want unity. That's a great goal. Uh, but he goes on to say in verse five that we have one faith. So this unity is based on one faith. There's mm -hmm. a definition for what that is. Is. It's a common faith. And um, we can't have unity outside of that, uh, that one faith. And so anytime we call out a teaching that goes against that one faith or contradicts that one faith, we're not being divisive. We're actually protecting actual biblical unity. We're mm, actually protecting. That's good. Yeah. 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 And interestingly, and th this is this is something that I just learned this year. If we go to Romans and Paul is talking about false teachers, uh, he puts the blame for the division on the people bringing in the false doctrine, not the people calling it out. And he writes this. He says, I appeal to brothers uh, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine you have been taught. And then he says, avoid them. And so it, it's it's clear that he is saying, avoid these people, call this stuff out, and don't let this get into and redefine what that one faith is, because that's the unity within that that we are called biblically to protect.